All right, today we're going to talk about one of the old school strategies to help us to manage our anger. Um, so, you know, as a youngster, I remember growing up and going through juvenile hall, juvenile placement. And uh, whenever I would get in trouble uh, for things associated with my anger, you know, they would always say, you know, just uh, stop, take a deep breath, count to 10. And at the time, I didn't understand um, what that had to do with anything and how it would help me. But now I realize that um, when we get angry, especially extremely angry, we don't have as much oxygen flowing through our bloodstream. And as a result, we don't have as much oxygen going to our brain. And we need that oxygen in our brain to help us to think properly. And that's why a lot of times we will make bad decisions, very bad decisions um, when we're extremely angry. We do things that we tend to regret later. So taking a deep breath, um, it helps by incorporating more oxygen into our bloodstream. So as we're taking a deep breaths, and again, you want to take the slow, controlled breaths. And I actually mentioned this in one of my other videos as well. So you don't want to hyperventilate and hyperventilate is like, <laughs> so that's not going to help you. If you're hyperventilating, you're actually not incorporating uh, more blood into your or excuse me, more oxygen into your bloodstream, right? You're actually not getting any. And eventually you're probably going to pass out if you continue to hyperventilate. But when you're taking slow controlled breaths, um, it's going to help you to incorporate more oxygen into your bloodstream. Also the counting and the counting, what the counting is do is just helping you to distract you from whatever it is that you're upset about. So um, generally, I know when I get upset, if I'm upset with someone about something that they did, then I'm thinking about what I would like to do to that person. Right. And then we may have other thoughts in our head. We may be recounting uh, past offenses that the person had against us or what have you. Right. None of which is going to help us to de-escalate our anger. And that's what we want. We definitely want to de-escalate our anger. We don't want to do something and make a rash decision that we're going to regret later. Even if you're someone uh, that believes, you know, you're that you're that guy and um, you're not going to let it go and you're going to, you know, do something regardless. Right. You're going to uh, cause harm to this individual because they disrespected you or whatever the case may be. Even under those circumstances, you still want to make your best possible decision and you're not going to do so if you're not thinking clearly. But generally, if you give yourself a chance to pause breathe and think about the situation and think it through, it's a good possibility that you may um, decide to do something that's going to be beneficial to you and possibly to the other person as well. Right. But if you just continue with the anger, then it's likely that you are probably going to do something that you may regret later and you may be regretting for many years later. Right. If you end up in prison or what have you. So again, taking a deep breath, we incorporate more oxygen into the bloodstream, which in turn is going to carry more oxygen to the brain, which is going to help us to think clear, clearer about our situation. Also, the counting will distract us, help to distract us, right? Because it's breaking up those thoughts. So that thought that I'm thinking about how much I would like to hurt this individual, you know, I'm... In those moments that I'm counting, I'm thinking about the numbers as opposed to um, whatever violent reaction that I want to have to this situation. Additionally, um, it's given me time to think about better choices, right? So that I can have a better outcome. Now, the counting, you don't necessarily have to just use counting, right? The point is to distract yourself. So if you use uh, something else, you know, people will use uh, different forms of of, of uh, techniques to help them to distract themselves when they get angry. Some people may use like a, a, a photograph, right? Um, some people that have, let's say, religious um, type backgrounds, such as like Catholics, for example, may use something like a, a rosary beads and recite a rosary or 
maybe a picture of one of the saints or the Virgin Mary. Um, uh, people within uh, Islam may use um, dhikrs, right, uh, which is a uh, remembrance. So they will recite um, these dhikrs and it helps them to focus their attention on their creator as opposed to on whatever it is that they're angry about. And it gives them an opportunity to calm down. Um, you may, uh, you could even look at something like your finger, for example, and um, and then just take notice. So again, you're trying to distract yourself. So let's say if you're looking at your finger, then you're paying attention to everything about your finger. You're paying attention to uh, your the, the uh, pattern of your fingerprint, the uh, condition of your fingernail, every single thing it is about that finger, about your hand, and again, it doesn't matter um, how you do it, right? It doesn't have to be the, the fingerprint or the fingernail. It could be anything. You just want to distract yourself so that you don't make a decision that you're going to regret later, right? We want to give ourselves an opportunity to have a little pause in our behavior um, before we just react. And we want to get out of the habit of reacting, right? We want to respond to situations. And no one is saying that, um, you know, we allow someone to do something to us and then we don't uh, do anything about it. Right. But we want to do it correctly. So if someone does something to offend you or to cause you harm or cause harm to your family, you don't want to um, deal with the situation by causing your family even more harm or causing more harm to yourself. You want to correct the situation and uh, be able to move forward with your life. So um, this is going to help us if we can find these different techniques. And this is just one thing. So there are many different uh, technique, techniques that we may use. The reason why um, I think this is a good go-to tool to put in our anger management toolbox is the fact that it's something we can always do in whatever situation. So if you're in front of your boss your probation or parole officer or whatever the situation may be, you can still breathe, which you're going to be breathing anyway. But in this case, you're going to be um, breathing consciously. You're going to be consciously taking these breaths and you're going to be consciously doing things to distract yourself from whatever it is that you're angry about. And it's going to give you time to take a pause in this toxic thinking and allow you to make a better decision. And that's what we want. That is the purpose. Okay, if you've been able to get any benefit from this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Let's get some other subscribers and build this channel up. Thanks.